here's a very very quick video of how to remove the seal from a Jabsco water pump very very simple to do remove your outer casing and impeller which most people can do and that's very very straightforward but what uh, is the main problem actually is that most of the um, videos out there suggest actually that you remove the shaft first but there's no need to remove the shaft and disturb these seals and the bearing um, unless of course there is a problem with the bearing um, this one is absolutely fine so there's no issues there at all with the bearings along the shaft so you can see here that I've actually already removed the um, the seal but it's quite simple to to actually remove the seal itself so here's the seal after I've removed it and it obviously sat in there like that it's retained it, it, well it has a spring on the inside of it which I've actually already taken out so that can be taken out simply by flicking the um, you can see here flicking the spring out and I've actually sort of destroyed the inner part of the the seal here already so I've pulled that out with um, some long nose pliers but the way to actually do that is to find yourself some long nose pliers um, which I can show you here this these are the ones which I which I used so simply get the, the pliers and you push the pliers outwards so I'm opening up the pliers once they're inside the seal sorry this is not very good video but literally you can then pull that seal out but you have to put a quite a bit of force onto the outside of the seal and gradually just turn it until uh, and put a quite a bit of pressure on there until you can see it moving you need the um, the seal um, obviously it'll be it would have been in position so push on the outside of the seal and then gradually you're turning and then lifting upwards at the same time it requires quite a bit of force but it's much much simpler to do it that way than it is to actually disassemble the, the entire shaft and pull it out the other way so I hope that helps um, I couldn't find anywhere um, online that actually showed the the seal being pulled out this way um, so I do hope that helps and it'll save you uh, um, obviously a considerable amount of time and you don't have to actually start whacking the shaft out uh, in the process so after you've done that pop your new seal back in there and it has to be um, put back in in the, in the right way so that's the spring side facing um, so you can see it here because it's the spring and the water pressure which creates a good seal between the shaft and the seal itself. I hope that helps.